Welcome back to Downstairs and Dragons, where we play D&D in our basement as per tradition. Of course, you can play wherever you want or with whoever you want. But we're playing down here with my friends. Let's go see them. That's Dieter playing Kieran, Josh playing Ixeldor, and Adler playing Plebotomus. They're currently in the Wood Elven City of Preef, Why not on the day of Midsummer, which is a holiday. Um, we've defined an elven holiday for our elvish friends, and we've defined a gnomish holiday for our gnomish friends. And the way that it's celebrated here in Harif Toyna is it's a harvest festival. It's the beginning of a major harvest season. So they're harvesting wheat, they're going to thrush their wheat, they're going to bless it, dry it out, grind it into flour. And our friends have been recruited to help the Circle of the Golden Hive at their bakery, making sweets for everyone to enjoy during dessert. So that's the plan. What's just happened is we've completed Switches at Dawn, and Switches our party is accompanying the caravan of wheat back into town. And as you guys go back into town, you notice the streets are full of people. It's almost like parade grounds where you have people sitting in the grass, hanging from swings in the trees, or sitting up in the trees. They're drinking, they're buying food from stalls, there are people walking their dogs by with food in the baskets that they're selling, or maybe their deer are carrying food, and there's just... There's so much smells and there's so many sounds. You see people sitting in the trees playing lutes and mandolins and music. So you're hearing different musics as you go along. It is a giant festival. Everyone in town is celebrating. There are children running around playing, throwing balls at each other. There are um, even the people who aren't Elvish in the town. The very few people who are gnomish or halfling or half elven. Well, especially the halflings. Um, are definitely so, and the halflings are super. Everyone's like, oh, halfling, come play with us. Um, and play music and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you guys are just feeling the happiness, especially after you've been blessed by the ritual of the Switches at Dawn. And you are headed to the north side of Free of Toyna for Honey Sweets, the bakery that Kieran is normally not allowed in. Oh. See, this is the one day a year you are allowed in this bakery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I go in anyway. <laughs> um, is there anything else? So, Ixeldor, did you want to be part of the blessing of the flower? The blessing of the wheat with the other clerics of Rillifane? Yeah, I'll be a part of that. So, well, um, so questions for Kieran and Phlebotomus. Are you going to follow your friend to the blessing areas, or are you going to go straight to the bakery to help prep? I'm going to go straight to the bakery to help prep. I'm really, yeah. Okay, that's okay. Uh, Will... I did my uh, religiously duty, I suppose. I can leave Ixeldor to it. You don't need me for any, anything? I think I can handle it from here. All right. All right, Ixeldor, you head into town where you notice all of the wagons are being led in a parade around the center of town when you're coming around a familiar place. You guys are going around the Temple of Rilafane. And there's a beautiful lineup of well-dressed, well-cloaked clerics, acolytes, um, just overall worshippers, priests, priestesses of Rillifane Ralaphil. Did I say that right? Rillifane Ralaphil. The god of the oak tree, the leaf lord, the god of the harvest, the god of acorns and branching trees and connections with other elves and communication of all the things he's god of. This is a big holiday for him because of harvest and things wouldn't grow without him. So you're gonna line up with the others, and you also see the head priest who you've met once before, and it's written on your card. I can't remember his name. It is... The green one, I think. Elazar. Elazar. Head priest Elazar sees you in your robes and nods to you, and you get in line. And... They all join in prayer of Rilla Fane, if you would like to join in. Sure. This is a weird thing, but roll religion for me. Natural 20. Hey... I got a natural 22. Oh, shit. Wow. Okay. Rillafane is known for not coming down and doing work himself. He is known for putting work onto his worshippers instead. And he will communicate with them vaguely with things like rustling leaves in the wind or birds chirping or signs in the wood or signs in food or in the fields or whatever. As the wheat approaches the procession, all of the leaves ring with wind and you can hear the music of leaves rustling and branches going through the wind 
They rustle for a while until they reach the right shape in the branches, and it sounds like flutes playing, like woodwind recorders playing multiple notes. And as the weed is coming through, there's music um, that gets more and more, I want to say, exaggerated as the wheat comes through. And you're blessing the wheat, but you're feeling the, the magic push through from your heart into your hands. And you can see the threads of it come out of your fingers. You can actually see the waves of the magic that you're pushing out into the wheat. And all the wheat becomes golden. Shimmering golden with the ultimate blessing, because we got two nat 20s. Yeah. This is a blessed year. Everything is shining. You can smell the wheat as it goes by. And you stand in this procession and help bless it until the last strand goes through. And as you walk back, you notice that all the, the wagons have gone in different directions to different thrashing stations where people are going to deal with the milling and the flowering and all that. Um, you can see golden sparkles going up into the air from those stations and coming down like fireflies in the air. Everyone is covered in gold sparkles on this blessed day as you head to Honey Sweets. Um, here in Infobalance, mm. you head to Honey Sweets to the north side and it's where you'll find your way there. It's right by Calm so you won't get lost. It is bustling. It is crazy busy. There are people running around and getting things ready. Um, the flower is not here yet, but they're mashing fruits and they're getting all the jams together and they're um, laying out everything in order. What kind of thing would you like to help do? I'm gonna look for any gnomes, um, any gnomes who are working here, if there are any. That's a good question. Let's roll for it. Can you roll an investigation? I'm gonna see if we get one. 16. There's one gnome. Okay. Hey, friend, if you got a moment. Ah, what? Hi. 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 I'm, Hi. I'm Flavara Scrumplekin. I'm, well, they call me Banana Santa, but I am Bananatris. Sananatris. Bananatris. Fenelitin. Banana Santa. Hi, Banana Santa. Hi. So, since it's midsummer, what do you say, you go on off and take a break, and I'll do whatever it is you're doing right here. Well, technically, you should take a break, too. But you work at the bakery. No, I don't. You don't? Oh. I'm working at the bakery today so that I don't have to work at the bakery today. Oh, boy, I see. Is that what you're doing, too? Well, yes, actually, yes. Because technically, you've been enlisted as a food service worker. Oh, Which boy. means today is a day in your honor. Oh. Which means you and I get to lay back and watch the rest of them work. Hey, yes, that's true. Would you like to? Yes. I've already uh, commandeered this big giant cushion. It's big enough for the two of us. Ooh, I brought snacks. I have cheese. Oh, cheese. Okay. Um, let me go get some crackers. They're not going to be serving those today. Yes, good. So, let me, hold on. And she goes and she gets crackers. And you guys sit on this big cushion that's made for, like, I don't know, someone who comes into town who's bigger, like a big human. And you sit up on it and you put your feet up on the table and crack it. Yes, thank you. And she just dips it in. Here, have some crackers. This one has salt on it. Oh, this you. one is buttery. Have my stomach queso. <laughs> it came from your stomach. Yes, we were doing the switches at dawn, oh. and all this cheese just erupted from my mouth. That's amazing. It's delicious. I love it. Let me try it. Yeah, try it. Try it. Oh my god, mouth cheese. Yes. <sighs> that is so. To lucky. perfection. <laughs> it's like you could make beer in your stomach. Yes, I could. Blood Junior, come here, come here. Try, try some. Oh of this my cheese. gosh! Oh, look at this! Oh my gosh! What is this thing? He's he's okay. Don't tell anyone. He's a homunculus, <gasps> but I call him my gnome son. Oh, that's amazing! Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it? Can he be my son too? Um, yes, yes, he's your son. Or brother, or he's... grandfather. He is your grandfather. Grandfather. Grandpa Blood Junior. Grandfather, sit here. <laughs> You're too old. Hold on. You'll die any second. Just hold on. <laughs> Everyone, give my grandfather space. He needs to breathe. Thank you. Here, have some cheese and crack. Can he eat? <laughs> it's fine. As just, long as it has the to acid be. acid just burns it up. It has to be soft so we can digest it like that. Oh, like bananas. Yes, like bananas. See, I like bananas. Okay. <laughs> All right, so they're sitting back and they're watching everyone else do the work and they're eating like, oh, that person, oh, they're going to drop it. Oh, they're going to drop it. Oh, no, they didn't. 
Just, Do you think anyone's gonna drop something? Just applaud and polite, politely when they don't drop it. Yeah. <laughs> and then like every time someone does something good, they both go, Woo! <laughs> okay. So Bosmus. Yes. I realize it's a normal holiday today. So I'm not going to ask you to do anything really too taxing, but I do have a request. Yes. Occasionally, I need you to slip away and find something extremely either sour, acidic, or bitter. Acidic, you say? Without You're being acid. Well, maybe um, acid. You're going to collect the saliva from your homunculus. I'm already holding up a vial. Okay. It's acid, though. It's acidic. I can, I can, I can reduce it. Just I can mix reduce it. it. Mix, it with, mix it with some flour, actually. Yes, there you go. Yes. Make a roux. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> actually, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Just melts through the pot. <laughs> <laughs> Be mostly neutralized by the wheat. Why are you? By the flour, excuse why me. Why do you want my, why do you want my gnome you son's? You have a base to it? Mm. Yeah, that's right. Why do you want my gnome son's acid? Because every every tenth pastry I make is going to be filled with it. Stealth, right now, stealth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need everyone. I need everyone in the bakery who's yes. watching you right now. Yes. I'm what did you slap get? You with guidance. <laughs> guidance, guidance, guidance. What guidance. did you get? I'm not going to need it. We got an natural twenty. What did you get? Guidance, uh, guidance, 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 guidance. All right. Wait, you have so, you have advantage. Oh, I do have advantage. But it's a 19 plus 4 plus 4. So, uh, 27. Or 27. <laughs> I'm going to think about who, who is the person who heard you. It's Banana Rama. I was thinking Banana, hold on. <laughs> it's the, with, with that high score, that's the only way. It's Banana. <laughs> she goes, can I get in? Like, she, you, you're talking to Phlebotomus, <laughs> and she's right there. Fuck, hell! She's my new friend. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Banana Santa. Banana Santa? You probably know my family. They run the arcane shop down the road. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, perfect. I need some of, I need some of the, uh, the magical waste. Like some of the goo. I need some magical Hold on. goo waste. Hold on. Phlebotomist, come with me. Yes, okay. Okay, so you guys are going on an errand to go get magical waste from the arcane shop. <laughs> I'm not there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have this all happen once. The flower arrives. Oh, well, no, okay, it's going to go Phlebotomus and Banana Santa come back, give Kieran stuff. Ixaldor arrives back, and then eventually the flower comes. And everyone stops and applauds quietly. Almost, it sounds like a buzzing because it's so quiet. As Marie Loney walks in. Marie Loney looks like a character out of a children's book. She has a big, fluffy, yellow and black striped dress, big, fluffy shoulders, and big, fake white wings, and her hair is in two big, yellow beehives. buns. And she is... Like, like the beehive oh, can I do? One, okay, one big beehive, you're right. Yeah. One big beehive, all the way up, and she has golden hair, and she is a wood elf, but she has quite golden honey-soaked skin and shimmery skin that's all glowy and a flutter with all the glitter that's flying around outside. And she has um, her beehive, the way she carries her beehive, it is not in a big box. It's, it's like a belt around the skirt. So, so it sits right on the hips. So it's like a big round inner tube. And she walks, and she walks in and... Hello, everyone. Hi. It's buzzingly wonderful to see all of you again. Oh, I, Hi. I meant to really practice my bee puns. Damn it. The honey. It just smells so sweet. Are we going to get started? I would just be so happy <laughs> to help all of you again. Let's get started, everyone. Everyone in their places. Everyone in their places. Okay. And let's start. Kieran, please stand here. Kieran, please right. stand here, right here. Mm -hmm. And Favarian, you will stand over there. Yes, okay. Yeah, move down. Okay, move. everyone, so you guys are going to be baking, so what do you roll for cooking? Um, do you have proficiency in cook's tools? I do. I, I, then I would say dexterity plus proficiency modifier. Equipment. I when, thought it would be on their skills. 
Now this kitchen actually has bees in it. A lot of them. As soon Whoa. as they start cooking, there are bees everywhere. It is hard to breathe without sucking in a bee. The bees are helping. They are carrying everything that isn't food. Utensils, they're carrying stuff to the dirty washing station. There are bees everywhere. It's You can't see past the people. It's just bees. Big kitchen of bees. Are there bees Those near me and Banana Sam? Sam? A couple, five, yeah. but for the most wow. part, you can see Marie Loney so talking physics. to Kieran, and for Varian, you can see Ixlador mm-hmm. on the other side of Kieran. I'm gonna try and feed some cheese to the bees. I'm curious to see how that's gonna work. They kind of walk all over it and lick the sugar off of it and then fly away. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. All right. Now, Marie Lenny's bees are bigger, and when they fly, oh. they kind of leave like Is a litter trail. Oh, no, it's it's a 10. I thought it was a 19. Um, so, 16. With everyone working together and everyone helping everybody, um, everything is turning out just fine, but you're going to need to roll your sleight of hand. Guidance, guidance, guidance. All right. Oh, actually, I'm going to do the part. You walk forward, you just high-five him, and then you come back. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Banana's like, did you just... Okay, okay. All right, all right, so 21. If you'd be so kind, Kieran, work on this for me, please. And she looks away, and you do it. And then she... Lovely, that looks fantastic. All right, so I would like to talk about this... I just stab a pastry and just syringe. <laughs> 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 like one of those, one of those uh, bakery frosting bags. <laughs> and then shove it underneath. Yep, yep. Oh, that's a good, that's a good donut right there. Yep. <sighs> Beatrice, will you be a de- Yes, thank you. And Bernard, thank you. Okay. Now, uh, Kieran, I have been brought to awareness that you have our staff, the Queen Chevalier, is that correct? Aye, I'm here to replace you as the new Archdude. Unfortunately, it's a little more complicated than that. Well, I imagine you get a promotion to Arch Archdude, I understand these things. Oh, I love that, I do. <laughs> Unfortunately, all of my advisors and caretakers wouldn't care for that very much. Oh, well, this doesn't concern them, really. I am. I, don't, I won't take them off to get our hands, I'll get my own. I just have one request of you. I want you to tell us where you're going and where you are whenever you change places. Oh, all right. Well, then in exchange, I'm going to need uh, increased uh, access to resources, uh, greater stipend, uh, things befitting my new title, you see. That will be considered. Of course it will. All right. <laughs> Is it, do we have a deal? Sure. The Queen Chevalier is something that needs to belong to the Circle of the Golden Hive even after your unfortunate death. And of course, I won't send any of my bee assassins a- after you to retrieve it. Well, that's why I'm traveling companions. <laughs> Remember, if Actually, you want... I, could you every once in a while? Maybe. Uh, Maybe the students need something to do. Exactly. Yes. Favarian, what do you think? Yes, I would like to kill him very much. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Um, all right, as long as we have a deal. Do you have any questions about your Queen Chevalier? Um, what else does it do? Oh, many things. So the Queen Chevalier was actually built by bees. There were 24 great queen bees, each one living in a different tree, and that tree grew strong and beautiful under her reign, with the bees pollinating it, keeping it healthy, keeping it safe. And eventually all the bee queens came together in a great court, and they offered their branch as a sign of peace between all of the golden bees. Their branches were woven together in a symbol of all bee kind. Mm. Because we will be kind with our bees. (laughs) So, that staff is meant to save bees, help bees, keep them healthy and thriving. As long as you promise to do that, promise to serve your queen, I have no problem with you using it in the name of our circle. Oh, that's not a difficult request. I can fulfill that. And let us know where you are so that when you die, we can fetch it. All right, um, that's a good question. Well, I'm here right now. You're here right now. Where are you going next? Oh, Ixeldor. Aye. Where are we going next? I imagine we're heading, where is it, south? 
Oh, we have to do that thing for the quilla. I okay. just I just call out with cheese with my mouth stuffed with cheese. <laughs> we're going to Starfall. That's it. Right. Well, we're going to the ruins to the ruins. to see what got buried out there. Oh, that sounds lovely. Maybe we'll find some treasure. That'll be Maybe. exciting. Well, if you find anything better than the staff, make sure to bring it back to me. Okay. Okay. And then I'll sell it to you. Are there any trees or flowers you're going after down there? Well, possibly. I see. One really nasty tree. Oh. Right. Uh, so we're kind of keeping our eyes open for um, Golthias trees. What is that? Uh, so there was this, a uh, long time ago, there was a, was a vampire, he got staked in the chest. Oh, dear. And, uh, <laughs> the stake grew into a big nasty tree, and that's where the t- twig blights come from. Uh, they're all bloodsuckers, I guess. So, uh, there's one fully grown one that we're, we're going to have to get some more resources, and before we uh, take down. That's the one the vampire's underneath right now, actually. That it's sounds probably like a still around. That's a perfect around. job, bro, truly. Do you mind if, when you come back, we tell everyone about the bee druid who took care of a tainted evil tree? Sure. That sounds great for our brand. It can be Thank you. The, a great, a great epic detailing the life and times of the arch druid, Kieran Argyle Flanagan. Oh, you're such a cute little worker bee. Now we're all part of the hive, so we all have to do our part. So be right. hive while you're out there. Of course. Be hive. Some archdruids are uh, busy in the kitchen, uh, facilitating the uh, comings and goings of all the other druids, and some of us, well, we're just up in the field doing what needs to be done, right? Yes. Now that all of you are doing so well in this bakery, I must go check on the other bakeries in town, as it is my job as the arch arch druid. Of course. All right, everyone. Have a good time. I hope you will be happy. Goodbye. Also, one last thing. Uh, do refer to me as Archdruid Kieran from now on, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Kieran. And she oh, leaves. don't She's I'll do gone. that. She's gone. She's don't gone. I'll do that. <laughs> Door shut. All right, all right, all right. You'll get what's coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> this Kieran, is war. Do not threaten her. She just. <laughs> Kieran! Bavarian's like, Kieran! Ah. <laughs> uh, all right, Kieran, it's time to start planning our crew. Indeed. Who can we convert to our side? You, of course. <laughs> no. We need a banner. No. How about... No. I think a flag in the shape of a bee. I think it's time for moonshine. <laughs> Benair! Moonshine, please. Okay, so you guys... Here we bake. You make cute little pastries. Um, Turkish delights and all kinds of cute, yummy, sugary, honey things. No bear claws. No, of course not. And we don't do that. We do not like bears. <laughs> and, then, and then you guys get to go out into the street and enjoy your pastries and enjoy your tankard of moonshine, and you get to enjoy the night. <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> It's a bear! <laughs> <laughs> you guys get to enjoy the night of midsummer with everyone laughing and talking and enjoying music and treats. Is there anything else you want to do on your midsummer day? Hey, Banana Ram, Banana Sama, excuse me. <laughs> banana Santa. Banana Santa, are you associated with the, the Druid Circle here? Um, no. Okay, so you wouldn't be willing to join our coup. Oh, no. Okay, would you be willing to provide material support to our coup? You could be a customer. Do we get coup coup discounts? Yes. Okay. I can coup get discounts. <laughs> Do you know of any like dissatisfied druids or dissidents or rebels or anything? who would be willing to sort of shake up the power structure. I don't know, that guy Favarian seems really unhappy. <laughs> yeah, he does. Mm-hmm. I wonder why he's unhappy. It's yeah. probably because of me. I, it's a mystery. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out. Thank you. Goodbye, Grandfather! Goodbye! You'll probably be dead by the time I see you next. Okay, bye! And, and she Blood Junior just sort of coughs up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Grandpa! So you... Sorry, Marie Linnean... 
It's Banana Santa early summer. Um, <laughs> Grandpa, haha, <laughs> it's so you. Okay, and she leaves. Um, and you guys, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna drink and pass out drunk somewhere? Are you gonna go to sleep in the bunkhouse? Are you gonna go see anyone special? I'm gonna try to outdrink Ixildor without making it. Ixildor is not that. drinking tonight. Okay, I'm gonna well, try and outdrink. Actually, uh, Phlebotomus. Yes. I'm thinking we can make good use of that uh, tree strider. Yes. The forest crawler. Well, today's not the day to work on it. All right, fair enough. So we're turning in for the night? Yes. Hi. We're gonna wake up the next day. Bonk! This is the junkyard forest. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the next day. Hold on. So it's the start of the next day. Yes. I need to make a very special roll. There are many things no. we have to talk about. Okay. Well, no. This, this is important. I know it is. Okay, okay, okay. But it's something else. You guys all feel so rested after your switches at dawn and your holiday. And you just, you have dreams of being strong, masterful spellcasters and strong fighters. And you just, you wake up feeling so energized and you're just like, that spell I wanted to learn, I think I can cast it today. I think I can do some really cool stuff today. You level up. Yeah! yeah. All right. You are now all level five. Yes. Okay. Okay, so now you can do your last class. All right. So it's a one in 50 chance, so. One in 50. Or not one in 50, it's a 50% chance. Oh, right. okay. Jeez, that's, a, <laughs> that's a bit different. That's, that's quite a bit different. Um, so I got a three. So that's up to DM interpretation. So it's the bottom half or the top half. Not yet. Okay. But I promise. Yeah. It'll come when it comes. Flip of the coin every day dawn, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. We should do a coin instead. Yeah, okay. Um. So not yet. Because you got other things happening today. Right. By the way, this is Phlebotomus' theme song. <laughs> uh, upon waking, I'm going to switch up some spells then, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kieran, um, did you, by chance, put your staff in any water, in a place where it could gather sunlight and water? I suppose I should be a bit more responsible about the. Be uh, a bit more responsible. About you. Be a bit more responsible about uh, the Queen's Chevalier. Uh, is that really what it is? The Queen's Chevalier. All right. Uh, we'll we'll we'll, we'll just call it the Nightstick. Sure. <laughs> uh, so yes, yes, I'll uh, I'll put it in a pot of water. Let it sit out. Roll Gather some sunlight. Roll a die four. Die four. Three. Do you know what? Um, let me look up this flower really quick. One flower blooms. Your tree or your staff. One of the branches blooms, a big, beautiful bouquet of flowers at the top. I just have to Google what it looks like. Because I don't have pictures for all 24 of these flowers. This is a very white flower made of teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny flowers. All bundled up together in a beautiful display. Can this even see this? Oh, it can. Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. This beautiful flower bouquet shows up. If you'd like to try to roll nature to guess what it is, you can. Okay. Nature. Eighteen. This is a privet. Privet. I'm growing up my privet parts. Oh God. <laughs> what do you think flowers are? Ah. They're the privet parts of flowers. Oh. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. This flower is bitter, and its tea is used to heal stomach aches. This is a flower of privacy and barriers. And because you rolled so high, I'm letting you know that. Privacy and barriers, don't you? Okay. Anything you'd like to do, uh, Ixodor, before we move on to our tinker here? Um, well, now that I can cast second level spells, we're gonna go ahead and conjure up a steed. Ooh. Oh, okay, you need a different theme song. Bum, 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 bum. 
so you guys go out to the junkyard forest where Kieran is fucking around with his stick and Ixeldor is doing magic and you run off to do your thing. So this stick. I I'm just I'm just fucking around with my, <laughs> my stick out right. <laughs> so Ixeldor, can you please what you what please describe what you're doing? Okay, so out in the middle of some clearing, I've gone ahead and uh, used one of my um, incense blocks and my sensor, and I'm starting a ritual. Um, I've gathered some candles and stuff from my pack, and I've uh, led a ritual circle, and I call into being a celestial spirit that takes the form of an elk that I can now use as my steed. So the wind blows in a great big circle, fluttering your candles. And you see the sunshine coming through the branches like there is behind us. And it's almost like you can feel the singing of the spirits of your ancestors on this day, the day that I sleep, the day of our ancestors, the day of the god of time. And you're reaching out to those celestial spirits who bless elves and bless good creatures. And as you're looking around, gazing at the scenery of oak trees and other trees that don't matter as much, um, you're looking around and finally your eyes pass a tree and there is standing a glorious shining elk with fur like the brown bark of an oak tree, great big antlers like the color of the oak wood, beautiful eyes like the colors of acorns and it just stares at you waiting for you good spirit i shall give you a name befitting a lord of the forest you are henceforth known as galathir it bows its head its antlers almost touching the ground lifts its head and very gently walks over to you so quietly it doesn't crunch the leaves on the floor and it stands by you and waits and then i will return to the party with it following behind you so silently they almost don't hear it come up behind you and phlebotomus you how uh if it, We'll give you guys a chance to react, Ixalor. Um, but Sylvanas, what are you? What are you up to? Are you head first in this project? I am going full steam on this. I'm turning gears, getting wrenches all all wrenched up. I've got Blood Junior helping out a little. He's got this hammer. He's whacking it in place. Are you using your tools? I'm using all my tools. I'm using all the tools from the belt. Which, what, what were the tool sets again from the um, from the bag? I think you picked two. It was Tinker set and a... Blacksmith set. Okay. So Which one do you have out right now, Tinker set? The Tinker set, yes. Roll a Tinker's check for me. Yeah, okay. Oh, not great. Um, that's going to be... Oh, no, that's good. That's a 15. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, add a plus one. Because we're level five now, your proficiency mod goes up. Sixteen. <laughs> a little oh. to the left. Oh, oh, pardon me. Uh, wait a second. Hi. Hello. Yes. Hi. Are you the? Are you the? This wonderful machine I'm working on. I am screwdriver one five ten. Oh. How are you doing one five ten? I am in your hand. Is that good? Is, is that bad? No. Do you like me? Yes. Ah, that's great. Thank you. I am not the right choice for this project. Oh, what is the right choice? Grab wrench. 510. Okay. I'm going to rifle. I'm 510. I'm 510. Hi, hi, hi. Yes, let's <laughs> use you instead. It is going to guide you through fixing this machine. Oh. Um, these tools will not do the work for you but they prevent you from making mistakes that could break the tool or Ooh. break the thing you're working on. That's nice. But they do produce an audible sound that everyone can hear, so you probably don't want to use this ability while you're stealthing or sleight of hand. Okay. But yes, that is what they do. That's incredible. I love it. 
Um, and they speak to you. That's why it's tools of the aspiring master. They help train. I see. Mm-hmm. So let me see if I have that card for you. So you are talking to your tools and working on your new project. And normally I would say this takes several days to fix something like this, but you have tools helping you out. The tools have revealed their ability to speak. They can ask simple questions or provide shallow answers when prompted. At the moment, the purpose of this ability is to prevent you from using any pieces of the tool sets. Oh, and from making large major, major mistakes. <gasps> Thank you. Well that was done. cool, was that on camera? I don't think it was. <laughs> I think it I threw it, it and he been. caught it. That was amazing. Okay. <laughs> that was cool. That was fun. Um. So, now about the chances of you actually fixing this thing today and having the tools. We're going to have to roll a bunch of random checks. Oh, boy. And Tevin Air shows up um, shortly after the morning, and what are you doing? Hey, you're not dead. Well, no, of course not. Hey, I'm just fixing the elven contraption of Bob here. Well, don't, don't touch that. I already fixed that. That's oh, done. Okay. But uh, what's that noise? Oh. <laughs> That is Wrench185. Say hi, Wrench185. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> These are the tools for Master? Yes, the tools of the aspiring These master. are the ones that he used. How come I never heard them talk? Maybe they just didn't reveal their secrets to you. Well. Well, wait a second. If you can use. Hold on, hold on. L let me help you. Okay. Will yes. you let me help you? Yes, yes. He picks up some of the tools and he spends a half hour attuning as well. The two of you can both attune to it Ooh. at the same time, and he's going to help you. So please roll at advantage now. That's not bad. Ooh, I need that. But not anyone can do it. He can do it. And you know why. We've talked about it in previous yes. episodes. Yes, yes. Um, okay, that's better. That is going to be a... Don't forget the extra plus one. It's a 19. Okay. You guys are incredibly close to getting this thing fixed. It's missing some parts. You're gonna have to go into town and try to find them. Okay. But you know someone who works at the arcane workshop. Hey, I am gonna go to... Are we gonna talk about Ixel? You, you stand up and you're like, well, we have to go to the shop. Yeah, and... so I just walk right past Ixeldor's uh, elk, then I stop, then I turn around, I look up at it, I look at Ixeldor, I look at the elk. What's up? What, what's with the little, with the, the big, the big buddy you got there? Meet the Lord of the Forest. Hi, Lord of the Forest. I'm the bottom of Scrumblekin. I offer mm -hmm. a hand to shake. It looks at you. I will telepathically tell it to. It lifts its hoof mm -hmm. and puts it in your hand gently. I'm honored. Okay. Oh! Well, cool. How'd you enslave it? I did not. I summoned oh. it, and it has bound itself oh, to me. Oh, oh, right. Okay, this is this is one of those paladin things. Right. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, kind we... of like how this one has a homunculus. It's kind of the same now thing. Now I've got bees. Yeah, that. Right, okay, cool. Can, can Blood Junior ride on his horns? I'll, I'll ask Galathier telepathically if if he would be okay with that. Will it damage my horns? Will it? I don't know. No. Acid in the skin? Uh, not the best idea. Okay, that's fine. So, are we going back to town then or something? Yes, I have to go to Banana Santa's shop to... Oh, I'll meet you there, and I fly away. Oh. Okay. What? <laughs> I can't Oi, fly. Mate. <laughs> well, I can fly. Not to be outdone. All of, all of my bees just land on me and pick me up and kill me. <laughs> <laughs> It's so <laughs> <laughs> Like a big hot air balloon of bees. Yeah. Just, they just like land on me and they flap their wings and we all fly away together. Um, well, <laughs> I'll, I'll meet you there. They, they <laughs> converge in their own, like an own pair of, of bee wings. wings. Yes. Oh yes. my god. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just seeing that. I'm just gonna pick out my broom of flying from the bag of holding. I'm gonna hop on it. Oh my god, you have a broom of flying? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot he got that. I bought well, it. Well, I guess we'll be walking home. <laughs> <laughs> I will mount the elk. Oh, see, you, see you later when the other's cool as us. <laughs> <laughs> well, the elk can run really fast, so while you guys are flying, the elk is under you guys. Just. <laughs> and 
and Tevinero's just like, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Turn around and go back to Tevinero. Oh, okay. He Hop on. Okay. Um. <laughs> and and you guys are running, and Tevinero's like, do you hear that up ahead? Roll perception. Not good. No, I got five, s- seven. Uh, I did pretty well, actually. Uh, I got 18 plus perception? Yeah. Oh, plus seven, so, oof. um, t- uh, what, 25? You hear, like, a muffled Eight. calling, yeah. like a, help! Help! Oh, I'll, f- I'll fly down there. Help! Inside one of the abandoned buildings is a dude hanging upside down, his foot is caught in a rope, hanging upside down, his tunic is falling over his face. Oh, I think I know who this is. And he can't see. Is anyone out there? Oh, I, hey, uh, see, it looks, looks like you uh, got yourself stuck there, right? Kieran! The what? Yeah, yeah, I. Help me down! What, what you doing? You just hanging out? This is my hammock. I made a hammock, do you like it? Yeah, it's a vertical hammock, that's yeah. genius. No, I mean I was laying in it and I woke up like this. Oh, I think you've improved upon it with your subconscious. Yeah, it yeah. It uses less resources now. I, I think so. Yes. I'm, I'm really intelligent, you know. It I is just, true. I'm just creative, I'm a creator. That's what I do now. <laughs> that's what you've always done. Can you can you help me out? Oh, uh, right, sure. I thought you were still testing it. Um, I'll just like nudge him with my foot and try and shake him out of. You know, as much as I really appreciate that, bro, it just it doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, what do you want me to do? Get me down. Well, I don't want to ruin your invention. Just ruin it. I'm smart. Oh, I can all right, all right, all right. I'll I'll use um uh infestation the cantrip to make my bees <laughs> attack the rope and rip it to shreds. And he just <laughs> head down. And he goes. Oh my. Hey, Kieran, it's you! Oh, hey! What's up? Oh, me. He's I'm up. flying. Yeah. Wow, look at that, man. Great. I'm an arch dude now. Can I fly? Well, I don't know, can you? I think so. Yeah, definitely. Do it! But I don't, I don't need to right now. You're tired from uh, the work you've been doing, right? Yeah, I've yeah. been working really hard. I've been really doing good for myself, making a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah? What have you been up to? Um, going here and there, really. <gasps> did you make a lot of money doing that? Yeah, yeah, actually I did. Do you have some? I do. Do you have extra? Do I? Can uh, I, can actually, I no, I don't yeah, have any no, extra. No, I just, I need just like a hundred gold. Oh, you're asking for like a business investment? Sure. <laughs> Uh, can you send me an expense report that I can review and, uh... Yeah, you know? absolutely. Just give me the 100 gold and I'll totally take care of that. All right, well, you know, in the morning, uh, just send me the expense report and, Where, uh, where are you going to be in the morning? Uh, probably in the middle of, uh... What's, what's it called? Star Falls. Star Falls. Uh, middle of Star Falls. Oh, I, I know where that is. I can, I can meet you there. Yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, you know, if you could get, like, a couple of, a couple of, uh large beasts of burden and a big ass wagon yeah i think i think i can if you can do that you'll be my wagon man okay and i'll pay you to take care of the uh the big beasts uh, and truck us around that might be a little hard for me i got this thing on my back i just i can't oh it's perfect all you'd have to do is sit in a chair all day i can't s- sit in chairs we could make a hammock out of it Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll meet you at Star Falls. We'll talk about this. This. All right, sounds bring, good. Bring the hundred gold. Okay, and you bring your expense report and uh, the yeah. beast of burden and the wagon, because because mm-hmm. you're doing so well. Like that's you probably got them lying around. Absolutely, I got tons of them. Of course, of course. Yeah. So anyway, I'll uh, meet in the middle of uh, hostile territory in uh, dangerous ruins to loot treasure. Put it on your wagon, and you'll get a tiny a tiny cut. What? It, can I? Am I allowed back at? The the druid place? Oh, I'm not even sure I am. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. I get it. Okay. Uh, do you need something from them? I'll just uh, I'll meet you there. All right. Uh, uh, meet you in the middle of Star Falls. Okay. All right, bye. As <laughs> 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 you leave the building, you're. A- <laughs> oh <my laughs> That's God. why I did 
not touch down in that building. Is that Venera? It's like, what's up with your friend? <laughs> I've stopped asking a long time ago. Well, I mean, I guess you walk around with phlebotomist, so, you know, whatever. Hi, I'm phlebotomist Grumblekin. <laughs> it was Tevin Air who was talking, but yeah, I you know. you go up to the dude? No, I was saying that down when I heard my name mentioned. Oh. I just you need to introduce introduce yourself to someone you've known for quite a while. <laughs> I know, Flebo. <laughs> just just that's my name, don't wear it out. You're right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so you guys go into town. You get let's uh go to the magic part place and you see Banana Santa. Flebotomus! Banana Santa! Hi. Grandpa! <laughs> He's still alive. Come on, come on Grandpa. <laughs> We're not putting him in the old foam stone just yet. Oh. He's he's still he's still he's still Grandpa, you know. shut up! <laughs> no one wants to hear your war stories. <laughs> Back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk like that about those types of people anymore, Grandpa. Oh. <laughs> Grandpa, uh, elves are nice people too, Grandpa. Yeah, Grandpa. You just sit there. Yeah. That, uh, that caught me off guard. I, I'm seeing <laughs> spots. Because oh <my> <laughs> it caught me at like the right moment while I was breathing. <laughs> okay, okay, what they're do you gone. Need? They're gone. Um, oh my god, the trip was so long I forgot what we needed. Ixeldor, what do we need? We need parts. We need parts for the giant robot machine. We have parts. I want all the parts I need. Okay. What parts do you need? All of them. So she takes you through stuff that looks like a bunch of junk. It looks like a bunch of leftover metal parts and a bunch of leftover metal springs and a bunch of leftover wands that are broken and um, glass bottles and all kinds of stuff. And she's just like, so all this stuff is super cheap and I can get it for you for almost nothing. Okay. Um, why don't you see if there's anything you need? And you and Tevin Air can look at the parts and see if any of it can be turned into useful. Would that be investigation? Yeah. Um, that is going to be 23. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you find the parts you need. Um, and with your blacksmithing tools, you can go back to the forest. You guys are just like following these guys around. Go back to the forest and go and you can actually like weld these pieces together and turn them into the shapes you need. And now you get to try to implement them. So please roll with your blacksmithing tools this time. Is that intelligence or dexterity? Intelligence. Okay. Um, that is going to be 23. Oh my god. Those are really high rolls. Mm -hmm. I'm just ripping all my makeup off because I'm dumb. Okay. Um, it's fine. So, you... God, really high rolls. So you just make these weird shapes and you make them work in Tevin. It's like, ah, no, I would Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's dangerous. You can't touch it like that, but it works. I mean, I'm not going to be touching it. Are you going to be touching it? No, I suppose not. So you guys get it, like, super fixed up, and he goes, when are you guys leaving? Oh, I imagine as soon as we've got this marvelous contraption fixed. For real? Yeah, for real. We're going to go to Stonefall, Starfall. We're going to go to Starfall. What are you doing in Starfalls? Um, our friend Looking is in a, for secrets. Yeah, our friend's in a coma because she doesn't got secrets. And not having secrets is like putting her into a coma. She's in a coma because she doesn't have answers to her secrets. Oh, yeah, she has the secrets, but not the answers. Well, she doesn't have the secret answers to her questions. She has the questions. She has We're the questions. trying to find the secrets. Which are answers. The, yes, to get the answers. That. I don't want to go to Star Falls. <laughs> oh. That place is bad news. Well, t tell you what, tell you what. I'm going to stay here and wait for you to come again. Yeah, so tell you what, after we have our fun in Star Falls, we can go to, to the Steam Lake and we can do the Artificer Guild. Oh, do you want me to meet you there? Could you meet us there? Well, I, so, so I'll walk through Oakhurst. And hey. Or you can wait here for us and we'll pick you up with the uh, the forest walk of uh, tree crawler. You think he'll come back? <laughs> I feel like we'll come back. I'm an arch. I mean, I don't want you playing the same game you just played with Harifer. That's Harifer. Yeah, it's Harifer. <laughs> he pisses up in his own bed. Okay. Let's, let's be serious here, okay? Well, how about this? How about I outfit some guns? 
for the forest walker. Oh, baby. While you're gone. And that means you have a reason to come back and get me, and then I'll put the guns on the machine, and then we can all go to the guild. You have a brilliant brain. I just want to make sure that you're going to come back. I want guns. I mean, I know how I am, and I know I don't come back, so I... Well, 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 um... I want guns. We're coming back. Guns are pretty loud. I want guns. We're coming back. I quiet guns. I want loud guns. I want big (laughs) explosions. I want to make a big flash. Like this one, and he pulls it out. (laughs) Boom! Yeah! Like that, like that, like that. There's a big, like, sparking firework in the air. He goes, imagine that hitting something. Oh shit! Yes, I could so, be your arm stealer. Yes! Oh my god! Yeah. Can you can you make like a like not a lightning gun? You know what like, I can make? We've been together for ten years. I want you to make a gun that shoots that clowns. Shoots. No, Pudding. no, be serious here. I want you to make a we gun. We can do a giant um, what are those big crossbow turret things called? Ballistas. 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 We could put javelins of lightning in it. Listen, what I want here, I want you to make a gun that shoots smaller guns, which themselves shoot exploding bullets. I like your idea. I like your thinking. Yes. I this believe is, yep. they called that a shotgun. Co- classmates, 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 yeah, classmates, 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 classmates. Okay, we're good. We're okay. a cluster bomb. Or that. Yes. Well, I'm going to go a home. You finish this up. I will see you when you get back. Oh, yes. Okay. So Tevin Air goes home. And you're going to finish up your Forest Elven Walker. And now, I kind of just need some DM help to decide how long it's going to take him to finish it. Because he's really close. Does he get it done in a day, or is that unrealistic? Like, that's the only thing he's doing today. If he spends a full eight hours work, I would say yes. Plus, it's a plus special. Plus, he has Kevin helping. Plus, he has a school helping. Plus, plus, it's a plus, special holiday for gnomes. It's a special working day. Oh, yeah. so it's almost like you're blessed by gnomish stuff. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you pray. <gasps> pray! All right. Um, I'm going to keep my gnomish prayer private. I'm going to shoo everyone off of the scene while I do my mysterious gnomish rituals. In the middle of the open. In the middle of the open. I'm gonna everyone pray. turn around! Yeah. Secret. Cover your eyes, cover your eyes. Plug your ears. You can't do it when you're watching. <laughs> cover your eyes, plug your ears. While he's doing that, I'm going to go visit the Temple of Rillafane and just uh, procure more incense and other priest supplies. Did you want to get any more um, information about where you're going? Books, maps, anything like that? Yeah, there's, a, there's an archive somewhere, right? Yes, there, there is. There is in... Um, green, green card. Yes. It's more teal. Uh, the Wet Paper Archives. Which is a, the central library. I'm, I'm gonna head there too and just per, peruse. Okay. Yeah. Um, that way, next time we come back on camera, I'll have stuff for you to just take. Okay. That sounds good. What is your prayer? Oh, all gnomon kind, I beseech you. Your God is uh, Carl Gruner. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay, okay, gotcha. I beseech you. Lend me your energy and pray to Garl Glittergold that he may bless my tinker's tools and strengthen my wit with the most tinkery list of tinkerness. Are you praying that so other gnomes pray to <laughs> Garl Glittergold? You're doing the spirit bomb. Yes, that's right. Okay. <laughs> it's a gnome spirit bomb. It's an ancient technique. Um... <laughs> You're all religion. <laughs> Gnomes do this all the time. It works out. Whoa. That is going to be a 19. Wow. And you feel energized. You're like, today is shield meat. Today is leap day. I can do this. And you suddenly start working way faster and everyone's hearing ding, 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 ding. And it's almost like you're making music. And you work into the sunset, into the dark. The others go home and go to sleep. You finish. You finish it. But it's the middle of the night. It's the middle of the night. But they need to know that you finished it. I'm getting into the Elven Forest Walker. I'm, are they still at the, uh, what was it? At Combs. Are they still at Combs? Yes. I'm getting into the Elven Forest Walker. I'm walking it all the way to Combs. Coom, coom, coom. Actually, it's kind of quiet, isn't it? Because it's Elven, so it's like. If it's Elven, it's going to have a, an emphasis on stealth. Hi. Yeah, so it's like skittering all over the trees. And you like climb up some of the buildings just because yeah. you can. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're like spider legs with like claws on the ends, and primarily the way they get around is like a spider going through the trees. Is there anyone still up? Are there any guards or anything watching? Cool. There's definitely rangers all over, but you can't see them. Okay, I want to show them off. Um, 
he climb up on some of the top railings and jump, and you have him like cling to one of the zip lines and it like weighs it way down here. <laughs> Snap! And you, and you get the fuck out of there. Is this Are you okay with that? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you get the fuck out of there and you go to the Circle to Golden Hive and they've got the big bunkhouse and there's actually a big field next to the bunkhouse where they have a bunch of apiaries. Mm-hmm. You're very careful not to step on any of the apiaries. You position yourself in front of the windows like a big scary monster. And then you leave it, you park it, put it in park. I think I picked up one of the rocks from the old abandoned okay. buildings. Like a brick-sized rock and yeah. throw it through the window. <gasps> You guys are sleeping in the bunkhouse, you're a crash! I didn't do it! <laughs> Get up and see what this is all about. Um, roll an intimidation check for bottomers. Do I get advantage because it's late night and they're sleepy and I'm a big scary monster? Uh, sure. Yes. Especially that last bit. Sixteen. You guys roll your insights. Alright. Here. Ah. Uh, uh, Eleven. You see a big giant metal spider. I immediately grab the halberd and rush forward towards it. Eighteen. So you see Exeldar running. Hi. Gone foul creature! You gotta attack it? (laughs) Yeah, I don't know what it is. Roll the hit. Ixalor, wait, it you doesn't have... You can hit someone's pet. It doesn't have Could've guns yet. Could have been one yet. of the druid's pets. That's a giant eight-legged spider <laughs> that's trying to... That's breaking in? Yeah, no, I'm... That, this is an attack. Natural one. Ting, 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 ting! You feel your blade go... Sorry, there's not enough room in here! Hey, hey, Ixalor. What? Knock it off. What are you talking about? There's a monster outside! You're the only monster right now. Just look up. Just the bottom of I, I'm the bottom of Scramble Ken. <laughs> I'm, I'm determining whether or not I want to try another attack. <laughs> Why like... are you climbing oh, through the don't window? Shout! It's late. Well, I'm, I'm not climbing. My spider is climbing. I don't care about semantics. I'm not climbing in either. I'm just sort of climbing. I want to, to push high. it over. That's... Athletics. Is that opposed by anything on my end? <laughs> Natural one! <laughs> no. He just... <clears throat> and the leg pushes him back. <laughs> it's a marvelous Do you want to grab him and push him back into bed? <laughs> you yeah. just stuff him into the comb. <laughs> I'm going to try and pick him up, plop him down Wait, in bed. Let, no, let me go. So bottom this. This is the clampies. Drop him into bed. No! <laughs> going to pick up his covers, going to cover them up over his head. I'm going to give That's him a nice pat. That's work. That's really impressive. <laughs> Excellent like, elven and gnomish craftsmanship. Oh yes, it's, it's miraculous. <laughs> I should I shouldn't be mad. I signed up for this. This is what I get. And now I'm gonna skid the fuck away. I'm going back to sleep. That I broke the window. And there's got there's rangers in the street going, the fuck with the zip line. <laughs> <laughs> and you go down to Tamar Road. <laughs> You're all stealth for me. Yeah sure. Nine. Uh, one of them sees a big giant thing go by and is like, "Oh, guys!" And then it's gone. And he's like, "Never mind." <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you put it away, and then do you go to bed? It calms. I'm gonna sleep in my spider. Okay, it's big enough for that. You should just put it on top of Combs and sleep on the platform. I'm gonna <laughs> find <laughs> the That's tallest. Conspicuous. Yeah. I'm gonna find the <laughs> tallest tree in the area. Oh. I'm gonna nestle myself up in the leaves. I'm gonna sleep up there. Okay. You just have a big giant metal wood. Actually, it'd be mostly wood with yeah. some it'd metal be, parts. It'd yeah. be mostly wood. There'd, there'd be like a gyroscope and be around. Gems. Well, yes, yes. With like brass accenting, I think, mm-hmm. very elaborate. And I agree with the gyroscope, so it stays. So no matter which way it's going, That's it's right. yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Really cool shit. Okay. All right. That's your touch. They don't normally have that. Yes. That's your touch. Yeah, yeah. So that is how Phlebotomus spent his shield meat day. And shield meat to gnomes is a big deal because it's a special day you're given once every four years. It's like an extra day, an extra 24 hours. Do with it what you want. Cross things off your bucket list. Do things you've always wanted to do. And you got a big giant machine. Hell yeah. Okay. And then Ixalor got his stag. 
Sorry. Stag or elk? Elk. Is, is that the same thing? I don't think so. Anyway. Um, well, yeah, your big, giant, beautiful elk. Remind us the name? Galathier. Galathier. And, Kieran, you fuck around. <laughs> Fucked around? I'm practicing my new spells. I can fly. What a good shield meet day. And tomorrow is the new month, Elysius, and it's time for you guys to head on your next adventure. Does this sound good? Yes. Okay. Um, and Ixalor, you stopped and got a bunch of notes on, you've learned about the possible dragons in the area, which we talked about off camera. Um, not that we talked about plot stuff off camera, we talked about what Ixalor knows about these dragons, if possible. And then we are going to get you some old maps of what it used to look like. And what else? What else are you interested in? Um, maybe some like maybe some history related things. Oh. Okay. We'll bring it up when you get there, and we'll have you roll history, and I'll be like, in your book, when you get a good history roll, does it sound good? In your book, you read this and this and this. I think that sounds good. So basically, it's gonna give you a bonus to your history checks. Okay, everyone, we are done in Reef Toyna. Tomorrow, we are leaving for the Winterwood. We are doing travel episodes. Okay. Yay. Sounds good. Thank you everyone for joining us on Downstairs and Dragons, where we play D&D in our basement with all the creepy spiders and all the other creepy basement things. And where it sucks when you lose your dice when they roll off the table and you have to find them later. Okay. <laughs> have fun wherever you're playing, have fun with whoever you're playing with. We will see you next time on Downstairs and Dragons. <laughs>